Let's dive into how it all began. The story kicks off with the Muslim conquest of Constantinople. Back in the 14th century, the Ottomans made a dramatic entrance across the Bosporus, delivering decisive defeats to the Byzantines, Bulgarians, and Serbs. This bold move secured their foothold in Thrace and the Balkans, leaving Constantinople as a Christian beacon surrounded by the vast Muslim territories of the Ottoman Empire. European royals received frantic calls for help, but those pleas were ignored. Then, in 1453, the inevitable occurred. Constantinople was captured, marking a significant victory for Islam and sending shockwaves throughout Christians in Europe. Christopher Columbus sought to reclaim lost Christian territories and explore the unknown. Fueled by religious fervor and the promise of riches in Asia, he devised a bold plan to chart a new sea route westward. In his vision, this journey held the potential to secure wealth and launch a crusade to reclaim Jerusalem. Christopher Columbus presented his idea as a viable way to the Indies, which would bring enormous wealth and prestige to Spain, and he successfully persuaded King Ferdinand to of Aragon and Queen Isabella I of Castile to support his expedition. In the year 1492, Columbus reaches the anticipated shores of the East Indies. Yet, what unfolds is beyond imagination. A vast, uncharted continent unfolds before him, stretching beyond the horizon. Columbus made total of four journeys towards this newfound land, but he was convinced he had found sea route to India. Enter the scene, Amerigo Vespucci, an Italian navigator who, from 1499 to 1504, participated in several expeditions to what is now known as the Americas. It was between 1502 and 1504 that two pivotal documents, credited to Vespucci, circulated in Europe. They proposed a revolutionary idea. The territories Columbus encountered were not just Asian islands, but a completely unknown continent, unrecognized by ancient or contemporary scholars. By 1507, these insights persuaded Martin Waldseem Lur, a distinguished mapmaker, to present an updated world map, the first to depict this new land as a distinct continent. Tasked with naming it, and incorrectly believing Amerigo Vespucci to be its pioneer, Waldseem Lur named the continent America in his honor. Thus, the name of an entire continent was born, all due to a mix-up that forever linked Amerigo Vespucci to one of history's most significant discoveries. Please subscribe to the channel for more interesting stories.